Hey there, Storm fans. I am Brent Cook. Today we are playing Popper Storm Combo, specifically Cycle Storm, my favorite Popper Storm deck. And what better time to record it than during an actual thunderstorm? You might hear it a little bit in the background during this video, but it's actually thundering and lightning outside my house today. Lazy weekend day for me, as you can see, I'm pretty comfortable. But that's not really what this video is about so i want to give you a heads up this is going to be a little bit of a longer deck tech where i describe some of my thoughts about cycle storm this is not the version we're playing today i will show you the version that we're playing and then i'm going to discuss a spoiler from dominaria united so if you're not interested in any of this feel free to skip ahead to round number one but i just want to talk about some of my thoughts and where I see Cycle Storm going. So this is the list that I shared to the Storm Discord. By the way, link in the description below if you're interested. About a couple weeks ago. And the thought process here was against blue decks, we're no longer running Hydro or I'm sorry, Pyroblast for those decks. We're accepting that Spell Starter Sprite is decent against us. We're not going to try to beat that deck on that axis. Because in order to run Pyroblast, you're priced into running an answer for a Relic of Progenitus. That's not really something we want to be doing. So instead, we're playing Duress. Let's see if it'll, well, if it'll actually let me zoom in here. It does! How wonderful is that? So we're going to run Duress instead. And while it can't answer a resolved relic, I'm aware of this, you get to stop it from ever hitting the table when you're on the play in your deck with five untapped basic swamps, which to me has a lot more synergy in what we're looking to do. So this hits counter spells. It also hits relic. It hits removal if you decide to go beat down with Horror of the Broken Lands. It really does it all. So is this perfect? No, it doesn't beat the resolved relic. But if I'm being honest, a lot of the time, I'm not beating a Resolved Relic through answering it with something like Repeal anyway. So I feel like the Repeal slot has been losing value to me because if it's Repeal, Shredded Sales, whatever, I feel like it's so rare that that card actually matters a lot. Like, yes, it, it can happen. It's not impossible or anything, but it just isn't frequent enough to warrant the sideboard space or so I've been feeling. So I've just been boarding in four dress versus the blue decks against non-blue decks. I board in repeal. So repeal has the nice backdoor function of bouncing a creature that might be attacking you or whatever, and still gives you an out to relic. How much that matters, I'm unsure. So I've been waffling back and forth on repeal recently, and but I've been really high on snuff out against the mono red blitz deck. In my testing, this card is just overperformed again and again. I know that first video that I uploaded with it, you can actually find that video in the card above. I didn't really face a whole lot of red blitz. I faced burn a lot, and then the snuff outs ended up looking a little bit lackluster. I'm aware, but in my testing, snuff out's been really good. So I still am interested in this versus the mono red blitz deck. We have dress for fairies. Repeals sort of fine against like the Boros Bond stacks or whatever because it beats their Relic of Progenitus. But as of two weeks ago, Suffocating Fumes made a lot of sense. And I think that Fumes is really only good against one versions of one version of fairies and then like your basic elf decks or whatever. But Fumes was interesting to me because as of two weeks ago, Kiln Fiend is it or I'm sorry, Kiln Fiend Mono Red Blitz combo, whatever you want to call it. I can't talk today, please forgive me. It must be the Thunder and Lightning, right? Uh, so the Mono Red Blitz deck, and then the second most popular deck was Mono Blue Fairies. And I was like, okay, if Mono Blue Fairies is going to be the best fairy deck, I want to be running Suffocating Fumes because it kills their four new ninja. I'm sorry, I'm blinking on the name of it right now, but it's a 2-1. It kills that, and the Mono Blue deck also plays Delver Secrets and more one toughness fairies. So Suffocating Fumes is really good there. Well, what happened is... The metagame shifted a little bit, and now Is It Fairies is the second most played deck, and then behind that is Demir Fairies. And Suffocating Fumes isn't good against either of those variants. So we're going to move away from this today. And I said that this is not the list that we're playing, so let's show you the list that we are playing instead. So we're going to play the Gnaw to the Bone. I know that in the previous video, I talked a lot about not wanting to play green because I don't think it's good against burn. I still feel that way. That said, I don't know if there's a better alternative at the moment. To go back to this Demir list, one of the thought processes here is I was well, I was previously playing Hydro Blast in the board for Burn with the idea that I could slow them down enough and I could win on the back of just being a better combo deck. 
Well, when I built this list, I had the idea of, well, if I'm playing Hydro Blast, why don't I just board and dress versus burn and then not have to play that sideboard slot? Because they're so similar. Yes, you have to invest mana into duress and your opponent doesn't have to invest mana into their spell. But duress can save you four damage off a of fire blast and you don't have to hold up basic aisle in the entire time. And I think that's pretty valuable. So I never really got to test this list against burn, if I'm being honest. I am interested in boarding in duress versus them and just like boarding out for Street Wraith or two Street Wraith, two Architects and seeing how that goes. I never got to test it, unfortunately. I'm sorry. But that was the idea behind this list is that dress just came in versus burn. It came in versus blue. You can even board it in against decks like Boros to hit their relic early and not have to worry about repeal. So I think that's really interesting that Dress does all of that for us. So we're coming back to this list. I am still not in love with Gnaw to the Bone, but I'm going to try it today. A lot of the people in the comments in the Storm Discord, they were all about it, said that I was making a mistake. So let's see how it performs today. You don't board it in against Mono Red Blitz at all. That's not what the matchup is about. You want Snuff out there. This is specifically for the burn matchup. So if it's Rakdos burn or Mono Red burn, that's what it's for. I do think it's a little bit redundant when you're playing two copies of main deck to hot as ploy, but people disagree with me, so I'm willing to possibly be wrong. And if I am wrong, hey, at least we made an advancement in the deck. I don't really care. So this is what we'll be playing today. But let's talk about a spoil from Dominari United. Withering Necromass. I just can't wait to see what the YouTube auto captions does to that one. But this is a seven mana creature. It's a zombie giant and it's a five five with death touch. It costs one less for each creature in your graveyard. Well, why is that good? So if you look back on previous builds from the last year or so, we ran things like Exhum with the game plan of cycling a large creature like Horror of the Broken Lands and putting it into the graveyard only to return with Exhum. And that was really sweet. We then played Striped Riverwinder as another exhum target but it wasn't really good mid combo cycling for blue was kind of painful that sort of thing so we moved on uh and we sort of moved away from the exhum beatdown package because there is another card you can play grizzly survivor which is a three mana it's a two and a black for a two three creature whenever you cycle or discard a card uh grizzly survivor gets plus two plus all until end of turn so I think that's the most comparable card to Withering Necromass here, and that's because with Withering Necromass, you're on the beatdown plan. Grizzly Survivor is a beatdown plan. That's what makes them comparable. Well, the Grizzly Survivor dies to Lightning Bolt, so that always meant that it wasn't a very good plan in my opinion, and you'll notice I even uploaded a video a long time ago called Grizzly Survivor Sucks or Stinks or something like that. All right, so there's other cards that I've wanted in this format for a long time like Vile Manifestation, which is a 0-4 creature that gets plus 1, plus 0 oh for each creature in your graveyard and it cycles, but it's an uncommon. That card would die to uh, Galvanic Blast, which is another really popular played card, whatever. I think Weathering Necromass is actually the best of both worlds. It doesn't die to Lightning Bolt and it doesn't die to Galvanic Blast, which means that it's just so, so terrific. So I'm really, really looking forward to Dominaria United so that I can play Weathering Necromass. So where are we going to find slots for this card? I think we just straight up cut repeal. Uh, I mean, I think we just remove it all together from the sideboard. I'm already really low on the card because it doesn't answer our what we want it to do for the most part. Yes, when you play one, you can miss skill teachings for it in a really, really slow game where your opponent doesn't have Pyroblast or anything else that interacts with you. I feel like it's a little bit of a pipe dream. But... Instead, we can just switch to the beatdown plan and force them to respect our graveyard size because of the Weathering Necromance, and it puts a weird tension on effects like Relic of Progenus, where do they use it immediately, do they not, or do, are they afraid of Weathering Necromass? And I think that we just play for Weathering Necromass in the sideboard, we cut the repeal slot, probably the Gnaws, and then we have a new sideboard. That's at least what I'm thinking for now, because then we can switch back to Dress just being the card for Burn. But that's what I've got. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this little bit of a longer duck tech, and I will see you in the first match. Don't go anywhere.
If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. You can also show your support by becoming a member of this channel. You get sweet perks such as badges, emotes, exclusive members only content, and access to our members discord section. As you increase the tiers, there are other rewards such as shop discounts, cyborg guides, early access to videos, and even free donation decks. Click the join button down below to find out more. We also have other ways you can support us such as theepicsroom.com slash shop or submitting a donation deck via the epicsworm.com slash donation decks. That's enough for now. Let's play some magic. All right, welcome to match number one. We are on the play versus a pass 72, who I know to be a walls player. I don't know if that's what they're playing today, but I think it's usually a safe assumption. No lands. We're going to mulligan this and this hand is very, very good. We're going to keep this and bottom the mystical teachings. Keep and bottom the teachings like I mentioned. Let's party. Swamp. And to save a little bit of time, I'm just going to main phase cycle past the turn. One of the things about playing this deck online is that cycling in your main phase really only usually matters if your opponent is on a Bajuka Bog deck. And I just didn't think our opponent would be. So they cycle the Ash Barons for a basic forest. Let's cycle the imposing vantasaur looking for land number two we didn't find it so we'll cycle the street wraith and we'll pass the turn we can in theory try for a turn three here wall of roots you've got it so a pass is playing walls i think i'm going to be a little bit more patient and wait one turn cycle the street wraith we hit Island. Let's cycle the Vantasaur. I'm definitely going for it next turn, though. Three mana for an Axe Bane Guardian. Okay. I feel pretty favored in this matchup, usually. Let's see if we can take advantage of it. Cycle the Draineth Healer. For Dahada's Ploy, love to see that. Cycle. Should I go get a basic out of the deck? I don't think so. I think right now mana is our choke point, so I don't want to waste it all on an Ash Baron. So let's discard this basic swamp. Cycle the horror. Another songs was really good. Let's flashback the ploy, or jumpstart the ploy, I should say. Ooh, repository scob. Let's discard that for now. We can always get it back later with Reaping the Graves, and we'll cycle the healer, which makes an extra mana. Cycle the Architects. Alright, now we have to cast this Songs of the Damned. Cycle Architects, going down to 11 black mana. Okay, we're doing decent. Cabal Ritual, love to see that. Storm is 6. I will return the Scob here, just in case we draw into a Lotus Petal or something. And now we want to return Street Wraiths first, so that way we get the most equity out of our Cycles. And then we can return some other creatures. Okay, so something you'll see in a lot of these videos is that I like to cycle with Reaping the Graves on the stack. This is because it keeps the most number of creatures possible in the graveyard. So if you were to draw into a Songs of the Damned, all of the creatures are still in your graveyard and you get to maximize your mana. If you return everything, that is not the case. So you want to leave yourself the opportunity to make some additional mana. Keep cycling. Sometimes I won't do that just because I have enough mana where I'd rather save my time. And now I'm just going to return the Scob here, because if I cycle again, I lose the ability to return Songs of the Damned and cast it. So I'm going to exploit. Let's return the best ritual in the format, Songs of the Damned, and cast it for 16 mana. So I am at a point now where I feel like we should remove the extra lands from the deck. I don't think mana's our choke point anymore. Okay. Cycle the Stinger. 24 cards left in deck. Keep cycling. Found another Lotus Petal. We'll sit on that for now because it can cast the Repository Scob. Storm is 12. And I'm at 21. Let's return the street rates again. And our opponent has conceded the game. So we've won game number one over walls combo. 
What do we do in the sideboard for walls combo? You could board and snuff out to slow down their plan. I think that you just want to be the best combo deck you can in the matchup and don't worry about that at all. So I'm just going to resubmit. Game number two, we're on the draw. We will keep this. We don't have a Songs of the Damned or a Reaping the Grapes to start, but land cyclers are typically good enough. Island into Preordain. Okay, that's new. Maybe this is more of a blue-based version of Walls. I love picking up the second land here. We'll just play our land and pass. There's 21 and a half minutes on clock. I can afford to not be uh, so hasty and just play at my own pace. The Modern Age. Okay, this is definitely a newer version of Walls. I like it. Discards Deep Analysis. So that means that our opponent probably has a heavier cyborg package of counter spells than... I was expecting so maybe boarding and dress if there is a game three would be pretty reasonable okay so now they get to discard another card another deep analysis that looks pretty good x being guardian you've got it so this could be a window for us to go off right now what happens when this transforms it becomes a two three flying enchantment spirit okay Let's cycle this Architects of Will. We pick up land three. Cycle the Stinger. Ooh, another land. We didn't really need that. Draw. Songs of the Damned. Let's cycle the Street Wraith. Another Dark Ritual. I mean, in theory, I could try to go here. I just don't know if I want to. Let's play the Island. All right, this is probably a little bit aggressive, but I want to see if the deck can pull it off. We're going to cast Ploy. Discard Ash Barons. Cast Dark Ritual. Cycle the Stinger. Cycle the Horror. Cabal Ritual was a very good draw. Okay, so now we can play our Lotus Petal. Cast Songs. Cast Cabal Ritual. Play Teachings. We'll go get a Reaping the Graves here. And I'm going to wait to cast this songs just a moment. Because I, I feel like I might be able to get a, an extra mana or two out of it. So Storm is 8. And we're already returning everything in our graveyard. I'll start by returning Street Wreath first. That's generally the rule. Okay, and that should be everything. So we'll return the first Cycler. So this would, made, would have made 6 if I had started on it. And now it's going to make 7. Now it's going to make 8. Would I rather cycle one more time or would I rather keep the blue open? I think I'm going to cast it now. Okay. We pick up a land. Cycle Architects. Cycle the Healer. Cycle Horror. All right, another Street Wraith. Songs of the Damned. That was an incredible draw. Cycle. That's songs number three of four, by the way. So that was not a very probable hit. Just keep cycling. So this one's a blank, this one's a blank, and this will return the horror. I think we're going to cast this for 12. And then we can just let these finish. Cycle. Love the Cabal Ritual hit. Okay. Cycle again. Ooh, that was good. Okay. So let's start by jump-starting this Dahada's ploy. Discard a Swamp. Discard another Swamp. Let's flashback the teaching so we can go get the last copy of Songs of the Damned. Cycle this Draneth Healer. And another Reaping. Wow. Okay, so I have a choice here. I can keep the Lotus Petal open for us to possibly draw into Repository Scob, or I can just cast the Ploy and try to maximize the songs a little bit more. And I think I'd rather do that, because I think if I'm at the point where I draw into uh, Repository Scob post-Reaping, I'm going to draw either one of the two last Lotus Petals or the Blood Celebrant. So let's cast this the Hottest Ploy. 
Wow. Uh, I guess we discard the Vantasaur. Cast Cabal Ritual. Cast Songs of the Damned. 19 mana. Let's return the Imposing Vantasaur. Love it. Alright, Street Rates first. It's the rule. But I'll be honest, we're at the point where we have enough mana floating that we can just return everything. There's also no copies of Songs of the Damned left on our deck, so you're cycling towards something that isn't there, and that's sort of just like a waste of time. So let's just return everything, and our opponents picked it up. So we are 1-0 over Walls combo. It's pretty good, but there's still four more matches left to play. I hope you stick around and watch them. I'll see you in the second match, because I know you're not going anywhere. With Card Hoarder, renting your favorite combo deck has never been easier. There isn't a more affordable solution for Magic Online. Want to play the deck in this video? Check out the pink comment below to easily rent the deck from Card Hoarder. Did you know you can rent the Epic Storm from Card Hoarder for as little as 7 tickets a week? We've made it simple to do so by including a button to rent the entire deck at theepicstorm.com slash decklist. Alright, match number 2, we're facing someone with the username Wall of Spikes. This hand is really good, aside from the fact that it doesn't have a land in it. You could keep, you have 11 lands that you can hit, you have 5 that are Swamp, so you're looking to draw a 5 of here. Because if you draw into Ash Barons, I guess you could cycle Lotus Petal. You actually have 3 looks at the first land. Is that good enough? Because you have Songs of the Damned and Reaping the Graves. 3 looks is a lot. Ah, oh, jeez. I feel like I'm supposed to mulligan this, but the hand is so bonkers outside. Like, if this, if these were, like, average cards, I'd mulligan in a heartbeat. But because they're three of the best cards in the deck, I'm sort of tempted here. We're going to keep it for science. I mean, I'm going to regret it, but let's see how it goes. Okay, so they get the... Oh, so they're on familiars, I think? Draw... Not a land. Cycle the Street Wreath. Uh-oh. Okay. Not looking good here. Let's cycle the Horror. Yikes. Punished. Punished! The second copy of Repository Scott was a very bad draw. And it is Familiars. Okay. Draw. We have to discard. Get rid of the Scob. Yep, fam it up. Sunscape familiar, you've got it. Draw. Move to discard. So, how do we win this game from here? We hope that our opponent makes the mistake of tapping out of blue mana, and we draw black source and we just go. That's how we win. If they're smart, they'll always leave up a prohibit or a counter spell. Okay, so now they get to draw four cards here. Yeah, I really got punished for keeping this hand. Draw. Discard once again. They get to draw two more off this Ephemerate. They must have misclicked. They didn't target the Mole Drifter. Sure. They're just representing the counterspell. I mean, they shouldn't tap out. Draw. We have to discard. It's kind of wild because we're uh, our next draw will put us at 25% of the way through our deck, which is a lot. Another Mole Drifter. And another Ephemerate. Preordain, you've got it. They play an island. Are they going to give me a window here? They do not. Draw. So I guess we can cycle a healer here. Pass the turn. Ghostly flicker. You've got it. That's a lot of cards. The rebound on Ephemerate. So the, by now, they so there's three counter spells in the main deck of Familiars. There's two copies of Prohibit and one Loose Focus. I think it's reasonable to assume that they've found at least two or three of those by now because they're halfway through their deck. 
Another copy of Sunscape. Yep. They flash back the deep. And they have Snap. Okay. Sunscape number three, and they have three open mana. Draw. Cycle the healer. Yeah, I, I mean, I just should have mulliganed. I think we're going to keep this in hand, because I might be able to get away with something if they cap low, and then I draw a swamp. I could go Dark Ritual into songs or something like that. So I'm going to just discard the horror here. Basically, my only hope here is hoping that the opponent messes up. Militia Bugler! I haven't seen that in a while. Mnemonic Wall. Sure thing. That's kind of cool to see Bugler in this stock. I've never seen that before. And they're passing. Draw. Did not draw. I'm at six, and they have six power on board. I mean, I guess I just have to go and hope that for some reason they're not on main deck counter spells. And there's a Prohibit. Okay. Uh, obviously, I got punished for a bad keep there. We're going to do better in the Bozpor games. It stinks, too, because I think that this is actually a pretty good matchup for me, and I just threw a, a game. All right, let's board out the Architects. And probably pulley number two. All right. Well, uh, here's our chance at Redemption. Very reasonable hand we'll keep. Okay, so I'm just going to start off by passing. We'll cycle the Ash Barons for another copy of Swamp. Most of the builds of Familiars nowadays aren't playing Graveyard Hate, so I think we're going to be just fine not casting this Duress immediately. Draw. Just cycle. Go grab an Island. That's the turn. They have the Chancery. We'll cycle the Horror of the Broken Lands. Hello, Cabal Ritual. Draw. I think we're just going to pass here. Do you need more cycling creatures? Two mana for a Sunscape Familiar. You've got it. Okay, cycle the Street Wraith. Stinger's very welcome here. Cycle. Okay. Need creatures. Not a creature. I think we just pass. I don't want to burn a Reaping the Graves for three. God Pharaoh's Faithful. Okay. So they left in the Infinite Life plan. Okay, so they're casting Snap to make a mana here. That's interesting. They cast another Sunscape Familiar with one blue floating. And they're passing the turn. So we know that they have the Faithful in their hand. Draw. Another Songs. Hmm. I'm going to fire off the Duress here just so that I don't possibly lose to Infinite whatever um is that enough next turn to go infinite that's the creature that removes from my graveyard i don't think wall goes infinite yet okay let's cast dark ritual and i'll pick up the three creatures a little bit embarrassing right here, but it's what I've got to do. Pass the turn. So they tap for a black and a blue. That's three mana. They can pick up the snap. And there you will do that. They're pretty close to infinite life here. And they're just going to pass the turn. They have one unknown and a snap in hand. Let's cycle the stinger. The vantasaur. Cycle. Another vantasaur. Untap and draw. Okay. 
So we're in a decent spot if we can find a payoff. There it is. Dark Ritual. Cycle the Horror. Cast a Cabal Ritual, see if that resolves. And they drew Dispel for turn, which is fine. Question is, do would I rather keep open the extra blue here? I think I would rather have an extra blue than an extra black mana. Cycle. Cycle again. Cast the ploy. Let's... Discard the Lotus Petal. I um, hmm. Yeah, it's going to be the Petal. Cast Songs. I want to get a little deeper into my deck first. Okay, things are going well. Let's keep cycling. Alright, we've had a few decent draws here. Cycle the Healer. We hit the Scob, wow. I think we've got this one now. 27 cards left. We'll exploit. Can't snap that. Pick up the songs. Cast it. Reaping the Graves. So the Reaping for 3 ended up being the little bit of push we needed. We can just return everything at this point. It doesn't matter if we target Street Wraith first. We have enough mana. I guess I uh, couldn't return everything. I thought I could, but that was just wrong. We definitely have enough resources to win, so I'm just going to start off by casting the Stinger. Like, the odds we fizzle from here are incredibly low. Might as well just get the show on the road. Okay. Cycle. And again. Play out the Lotus Petal. Cycle Horror. And our opponent's conceded and we're off to game number three. Let's see if I can redeem myself for that terrible decision I made in game number one. So you could board in the snuff outs. I don't think that's what we want to be doing here. I think it's just like a misevaluation of what matters in the matchup. For the same reason, it's why we don't board in Fairy Macabre. No creatures, huh? We should mulligan. Is this six? Am I supposed to keep this? Oh no. Don't hate me. I know that I kept it in game one. I think you're supposed to keep this. Like, legitimately, I think that your fives are going to be better than this. Opponent Mulligan's to four. Maybe they do have the Relic in their deck and they're just digging for it. It's usually pretty unlikely to see those effects out of this deck. Relic exiles their graveyard, which matters a lot, so you're more often likely to see something like a Tormod's Crypt. We did not hit the land cycle. Did not hit land cycle. Bummer. Okay, it's going to be one of these games I see. We did see Dispel out of them, which was interesting. A cycle. That's the turn. Land two, love to see that. We're in good shape now. Mole Drifter. You've got it. I think if I drew Dark Ritual, I'd consider going for it here. Let's cycle main phase. Cycle. Pass the turn. Your Dane. I think if they tap out again, I'm going to try to go for it. Puts two on top. Plays Ash Barons. Passes the turn. Alright, if that's going to be the case, we're not going to push it. Cycle Vantasaur. Let's pass the turn. 
So now they're representing a counter spell, so I don't really just want to jam Songs of the Damned into open mana. I'd like to find Duras. And it looks like they're just passing. I'm fine if you're not willing to develop your board. Another copy of Lotus Petal, take a draw. Repository Scob. Let's cycle this Horror of the Broken Lands. No copy of Duress yet. Cycle Stinger. We might be able to brute force our way through soon, though. Pass the turn. And they just pass back seven cards in hand. I'm just going to play the Ash Barons, and on their end step, I'm going to cast Mystical Teachings. They cycle on Ash Barons. Pick up an island, and they're passing. Cast Mystical Teachings. Eats a Dispel, I'm fine with that. Draw. Another Barons. Let's cycle that. Let's go pick up a Swamp. Cabal Ritual. Even if they have double counterspell here, we can beat that. You have a Prohibit. Cast Songs to the Damned. They have Dispel, that's fine. Play a Lotus Petal. Cast Songs. Repository Scob. We will exploit it to return the Songs of the Damned. Cast it again. And Reaping the Graves, returning the Scob plus all of its friends. 14 mana. It's a lot. I don't think I'm supposed to play Stinger here. I'm going to keep my options open. Cycle. Dark Ritual. Does that change anything? I've played my land for turn. I've used two Lotus Petals and I still have a Blood Celebrant. I think I don't want to play the Stingers quite yet. I'm just going to keep cycling. Okay. Like, I don't think playing Stinger there is terrible. I just think that it's a little bit risky. Like, if you just draw multiple blanks in a row, you really get bit. And I'm not trying to get bit when I'll just win the game if I'm a little more patient. Go to 10. Cycle. Keep cycling. Another copy of Duress. Cycle. Let's... Do I want to thin a land here? Probably fine. Alright, so we can flash back Mystical Teachings to go get a Songs. Which would make 15 mana here, and I still have one Songs left in the deck. Cast Songs, 19 cards left, Cycle Stinger. And there's a Reaping. Let's cast Duress, see what they have left. Okay... Increase that storm count just a little bit. Play the scob, storm 16. Exploit, return songs. This is what I was saying, we're like, if just, like, we were patient and we knew that we weren't going to lose. We kept our mana open and we're just coming back later stronger. Like, the line that I took just, you're not likely to lose the game, where you could have lost the game if you played Stinger and just hit bad runners for a long time it's just reducing variance where you can so many times in videos people are like you know you could have cast stinger earlier in one yeah but i played around the possibility of just drawing poorly and i think that's fine too as long as i don't time out it doesn't matter cycle so at this point we're just looking for blood celebrant so we can start to actually win the game there's another copy of Songs, Cycle. Another copy of Reaping the Graves, love to see that. There's a Lotus Petal. 
I could play a stinger here, but I'm gonna be lazy and just dig for the blood celebrant. Where's my bloody little friend? Come on. Alright, fine. I'll play a stinger. I don't want to though. Cycle. Auto yield to this trigger. Cycle again. Let's cycle another healer. Down to nine cards in deck. This will put us at eight. So now we can cast another stinger. So all cycles deal two now. All right. Dark Ritual. Let's cycle a three wraith. This will put them to 13 and we'll go to eight. Dark Ritual again. Cycle. Okay, I guess we're going to four. Let's cast songs. Reaping the Graves. My opponent just asked if I'm going to deck before they die. They're about to learn this interaction. No, I do not deck. You can put all the draw triggers on the stack and you will never die. Just like Peter Pan or some weird joke, I don't know. You'll live forever. You only die if you decide to die. That's uh, really how it works. So when you cycle, Granite Stinger creates a trigger that deals a damage, and then the draw trigger goes back on the stack. You never have to draw the card. Just, well, I guess eventually you would, but you can just respond to the draw trigger. So here's the draw trigger. And now I'm going to leave that draw trigger on the stack. And as you see here, I've yet to draw a card. My opponent's life total is going lower and lower to the point where they die to white dinosaurs. Imagine dying to a 3 6 7 mana white creature. We're 2 0. I came back. I made up for my punt, even though I sort of kept a similar hand in game three. There's still three matches left. Let's see if we can get that trophy. Looking to make playing your favorite combo deck much easier? Look no further than the Epic Storm Mini Token Combo Pack, which is available at theepicstorm.com shop for $14.99. This combo token pack comes with 84 double-sided tokens. That includes our classic Storm and Mana tokens as well as fan favorites such as Goblins, Squirrels, and Slime Time Live. But that's not all. We've expanded this token pack to cover a variety of formats with new tokens. Stop on by the epicstorm.com slash shop and make an easy decision to elevate your combo game. I am being tempted today. That said, I don't think you're supposed to keep this hand. This is pretty different from the hand we kept in match number two. Yes, we have Reaping the Graves, Songs of the Damned Lotus Petal. Those are the key components, but the rest of the hand is worse. So I think we just take a mulligan here. And we're going down to five. Jeez Louise. Let's go to four. Keep bottom the ploy, Ash Barons, and Ash Barons. Not the way I wanted to start this round, that's for sure. Forest, and they pass. Swamp go. Can we win on a mulligan to four? Let's find out. Simic Growth Chamber. No clue what they're playing. Cycle Adranith Healer. Okay, let's search out an island. Take a draw. Wonderful. Pass the turn. They play the forest again. Pieces of the puzzle. What are you on? Ooh, main deck copy Weather the Storm. That's spicy. So they kept Weather the Storm and Stream of Thought. So they're on Turbo Fog. We can beat Weather. I'm not actually concerned about Weather. Like, they can gain 100. We'll, we'll beat that. Okay. They have to discard a card. Moments Peace. So yeah, they are Turbo Fog. Let's cycle Street Wraith. Cycle Stinger. 
cycle of horror. Triple reaping, not ideal. Desert. Lotus petal, let's cycle the horror. Cycle architects. If I went on a mold of four, I will be incredibly happy. Pass the turn. I don't think that these decks play counter spells, but I could be wrong. Frantic inventory for two. And they're just going to clean up. Discards two copies of Moments Peace. Cabal Ritual. Let's see if this resolves. Arcane Denial. Should this be my spot to go? I think I'm going to push it. Songs. Reaping the Graves. We don't have that many resources to go off here, so I'm a little bit worried, but we'll see what we can do. Street Wraith and then some other stuff. Cycle. And again... I want to find more copies of Songs of the Damned. That's really what we're looking for here. Looks like we might be fizzling. Ooh. Okay, so that's songs number two of four. So now we want to find Repository Scob. I'm not going to cast the ploy. Cycle the Wraith. Okay. Keep cycling. Come on, Repository Scob. We're halfway through. That finds another uh, songs. Cycle. Am I allowed to pick that up? All right, so we have one songs left in our deck. Now we return the architects. Cycle this. We'll go grab the other island. Land for turn. Cycle architects. Do I cast the ploy? I've used one lotus petal. So that means I have three left. I'm going to cast it. Discard Swamp. Cycle. Cycle again. Cabal Ritual. Flashback Teachings. Grab the last copy of Songs. So now if we want more mana, we have to cast a Repository Scob. Now we return everything that we can. Are we going to do it on a mulligan to four? We know that our opponent has a weather, but I'm pretty confident that I can beat that card. All right, let's cycle. Cycle again. There's a petal. So this petal is likely to get them to cast the weather. So they'll gain 15 times 3, which is 40... I'm sorry, 48, because I'm casting a spell first. So there should be for 16. You've got it. Easy peasy. That's actually less life than I thought that they were going to gain. So I'm fine with this. So they're going up to 68 life. Let's party. Cycle. I'm not going to auto yield to the draws. I don't think that's what we want to be doing here. So the question is, do I play the Stinger? And I think so. Uh, I know that we need to cast Repository Scob to win this, but I have enough going on that I think we'll be able to find the Scob and uh, a Petal or the Celebrant. Because I still have another Reaping to get back cards as well. And there's the Celebrant. So now we just have to find one of our two scobs left in the deck that I failed to find until this point. Okay, Cabal Ritual. Cycle. Draw. Should I... I'm going to search... I'm going to shuffle my deck, see if there's any more basics left. There is a basic. Nice. Cycle. 
draw. Okay, just keep cycling. Easy peasy. 13 cards left. Draw. And there's the scob. All right, so let's make a blue repository scob. Yes, I would like to exploit it. Return Songs of the Damned. Let's make a blue. We're going to jumpstart this ploy, discarding a basic. We'll draw two, discard a basic. I did not draw any cyclers off that. All right, cycle. Yeah, so we have another reaping left, which is something I was actually pretty curious about. So we'll return everything we can here. Just go straight down the line. No need to waste time clicking and selecting random creatures with importance. And then once you've selected everything, just click randomly. Return everything we can. The mulligan to four is in fact going well, but I'm down to 17 minutes. So at this point I am worried about time. Okay, pay a life. Let's play a stinger. Start cycling. Draw. We're looking for the fourth stinger. Okay. I mean, I probably have enough right now, but the fourth stinger would just make it really nice and smooth. Just chunks of four. And then I started blasting Danny DeVito memes. Okay. So when you have two scobs in your deck, you can get to a point where you can just loop the scobs and make a bunch of mana and storm. Not that you really need the storm, but... You can essentially go infinite based on your life total. And that's why whether the storm doesn't really matter. All right, so our bottom card is the fourth copy of Stinger. So let's find that. After this, though, I'm not allowed to let the draw trigger resolve. So I have to be cautious. Cast Stinger. All right, so we're going to turn off auto yields just in case, and then we'll re-enable them on just the stingers. Okay, and now we cycle. Start dealing them damage in chunks of four. And then we cycle the Street Wraith. All right, so that first game took up a half of our clock, but we did get the W, and that's really what matters. Let's focus on getting one of these post-board games now. I think it's actually pretty similar to the boarding that we do for um, Familiars, where we just want the dresses. Let's submit and head over to game number two. Game two, this is a reasonable hand we'll keep. I'm just going to start using F6 a little bit more often. I, I can't afford to click through their triggers and possibly time out. Just going to cycle. All right, we picked up a dino. It cast preordain. Get dained. Two on the bottom, and they play some growth chamber. Draw. Did not hit the land. Let's cycle a street wraith. Okay, that was actually pretty good. Cycle Street Wraith. Did not hit a land. So if I cycle here, I'm one short of getting Threshold off these uh, Lotus Petals. And that does it. I think we're going for a turn two. We're going to do it. Dark Ritual. Cycle. Cabal Ritual. Is this a Fairy Macabre? That would suck. Oh no. I wasn't expecting Fairy Macabre. I actually could have played around that by playing out a Lotus Petal and having a Cycler up. So that's unfortunate. Cycle. 
Cast the Cabal Ritual. Cycle. Yeah, that Fairy Macabre got me good there. Cycle again. Hit the songs. And Reaping. I think that this would have been a pretty easy turn two if the Fairy Macabre wasn't there. I mean, it's still possible, but kind of unlikely at the point we're currently at. Cycle. And again. Celebrant. Cycle. Yeah, we're, it looks like we're going to fizzle here. Keep cycling. Okay, I'm just going to return. Let's cast Duress. Take the counter spell. Hmm. I'm gonna cycle Advantage for I think. I don't I don't want to spend too much time thinking about this. I just can't afford to burn the clock. They play island. They stream themselves. Cycle. Grab island. Draw. Cycle. Okay, that was good. Cycle. Pass the turn. We pick up another copy of Cabal Ritual. So what we're looking for now is either Songs of the Damned or Reaping the Graves, so that way we can force through a win. Draw. Swamp. Hmm. I'm going to play out the Celebrant. That resolves. I'm going to pass the turn. I just don't have enough to go for it right now. Because it would be a waste of resources. Desert. So they have Arcane Denial, Tangle, and two Unknowns. Draw. Okay, let's cast Duress, see what they're working with here. The Arcane Denial, three cards in hand. Can I have a Cabal Ritual? Repository Scob. Triggers. Yes, I would like to exploit. Pick up Songs of the Damned. Do you have another? No, okay. Songs. And Reaping the Graves. Street Wraith and then some random creatures. I should probably cycle here. Seven mana is not that much. Let's leave some creatures in our graveyard in case I draw into Songs. There's a Teachings which represents the songs. Okay. There we go. Just keep cycling. Dark Ritual. Cycle. Wonderful. Cast this songs. Pick up these. Let's make a blue, cast Scob, exploit, pick up another Songs of the Damned, cast it, Pale Life, Teachings, grab a Songs, cast it. Let's return everyone and then start trying to win this game. We have nine and a half minutes. It's plenty of time. All right, let's make some red mana with the Blood Celebrant. Cast Stinger. No other the storm. We're at six life, so we do have to be aware that if we cycle too many street rates, we could die. I only mention that because there's been a couple points in my life where I've been so busy narrating my plays that I've forgotten. I don't want that to happen. Cast another Stinger. Okay, now all of our cycles will deal three. Keep 
Keep cycling. Dress you. And they just have nothing. Okay. Keep cycling. Got to get that cardio in. Cycle a healer. And let's finish them off with the Nash Barons. We're going to be three and zero. Love to see it. Match four coming up. If you're still watching, make sure to give this video a like, comment, and subscribe. While you're near the description, here's a reminder to use our affiliate links if you're going to make a purchase from Amazon, Card Hoarder, or TCG Player. Just above those affiliate links, you'll find our social channels. Make sure to join those to connect with us. Back at it for the fourth match. We are on the play this time. Good hand, we'll keep. We'll start off by playing the island and cycling the Ashborns. <laughs> Ashborns. Ash Barons for a basic swamp. All right, hit that basic land cycling. Grab the swamp and pass the turn. Colony Garden. Okay, draw. Just going to pass the turn. So this could mean that our opponent's playing Tortex or whatever it's, however you would like to pronounce it. And if that's the case, I don't want a main phase Cyclone to Bajooka Bog. I'm not really sure what they're doing right now, but it could be that. Cycle. Okay. Doing all right so far. Let's cycle this. The question is, do I want to grab an island? I think I do. Pass the turn. I love this deck so much. Like, kid you not, Cycle Storm is my second favorite deck, period. The Epic Storm, Cycle Storm, and probably like Rograk, Silas, CDH. Okay, so Baron Moor, so they are blue black. This is why I was worried about playing around Bajooka Bog. Pick up a Swamp, Cycle. Alright, so we have six in Graveyard. Part of me wants to just go. Yeah, we're going. Dark Ritual. Cabal Ritual. Cycle of Vantasaur. Uh, I don't know my, my actual count here for songs. Let's cast Teachings. It's six. It's a little bit low. All right, play the songs, I guess. Cast Scob. Exploit it. We'll pick up these songs again. Cast songs. And then Reaping Floating 7. Return Street Wraith and then the others. Okay, let's start cycling. Looking for like a Lotus Petal or the Blood Celebrant here so that way I'm able to replay the Repository Scob. There's a petal. So I could play Scob, but I want to be able to hit more creatures. So I want to find like a Dark Ritual or a Cabal Ritual now. All right, running out of creatures here. Might have to pass the turn. Yeah, unfortunate. So if they have a... um, What is it called? Bajooka Bog, it's going to get me. Pass the turn. Duress, well, you will hit a Dehada's Ploy. And there's the bog. Ah, Brutal. That was backbreaking. Yep. We're not out of this by any means. It's just that hurt. Let's go grab some lands. Thin our deck a little bit. Increase our odds of drawing well. We have one basic left. I'm just going to pass the turn. Chittering, or I'm sorry, Crip Rats. Yeah, you got it. Cycle Vantasaur. Cycle the Healer. I think I'm willing to sacrifice the pedal and cast the ploy. Hmm. Guess it's better to keep the petals for storm count. I don't have a strong opinion on that, though. Cycle going to 17. 
Three creatures currently in the graveyard. Healer, let's cycle that. Songs, okay. If we can find a real payoff, uh, we could do something. Flashback, or jumpstart the ploy. Discard celebrant. And unfortunately, we have to pass the turn. 20 cards left in deck. They'll get in for one, and I'll go to 21. Draw. There we go. All right, so we can go for it now. Cycle. Cast songs. Repository scob. Triggers. They cast down so I cannot exploit. Question is, should I play around another removal spell here? I think the answer is yes, at least for now. It feels a lot like F6. Okay, I'm going to try it. All right, so I got them on the F6. So let's return songs. Cast it for nine mana. Reaping the Grays, returning Scob. Street Wraith first, and then the rest. Blood Celebrant, and then the other Scob, and then the rest don't matter. Cycle. Another Street Wraith. Do I, how many uh, songs do I have left? There's one here. There's one in exile, so I have two songs left in deck. So teaching can, can go and get one of those. Keep cycling for now. I only have 13 cards left, wow. Cycle. We can get a little bit more out of that, I think. Keep cycling. Cycle. Songs of the Damned. Cabal Ritual. And now we can just return everything. Play the Celebrant. Let's cycle Healer. Cycle again. This is the last copy of Songs. Play Repository Scob. Exploit. Pick up songs. Lose another life. Scob. Yes. Pick up songs. So we'll have roughly infinite mana here. Cast all three. Cast Reaping the Graves. Return everything. Should be fine. Main deck copy of Zhukabog, no big deal. Get out of here, Bajukabog. And our opponent picks it up. We're heading over to game number two. You could bring in a repeal or something like Nile Spellbomb. I don't think that's the worst idea. And we'll just board out one copy of Architects. This is a matchup where I think their deck is so slow that you can use the Mystical Teachings to go find it. You could also consider boarding in the basic forest over a lotus petal to decrease your mulligan since you have more lands. I don't love that though, just because mid combo you really do want access to lotus petal to create blue mana. So you're weighing mulligan equity versus combo efficiency. Game two. This hand looks great. Keep. Opponent with a mulligan to six. You have a colony garden draw. Pass the turn. One thing I like to do in this matchup is try to hold on to my cyclers for a little while. Ooh, that's spicy. And basically you want to try to cycle if if possible. Like you you really want to hit land three for this to be a good uh 
path to take. So we might be pressured into cycling at least one or two. But basically you try to not give them much to bog away and then you go off all at once. They cast Deadly Dispute. They have a treasure. Basic Swamp. Blood Fountain. Okay. So this might not actually be the Tortex deck. It might just be like a green black rock deck. Cycle Imposing Vantasaur. Cycle a Healer. Draw. Didn't hit a land. Rather than cycle trying to hit a land, I'm just going to play out Lotus Petal. Because I don't want to put a third creature in the graveyard for their Bajuka Bog. I want them to have to think about if they want to play that card or not. Two mana. Reckoner's Bargain. So I guess you could say that this is like a green-black sacrifice deck. Ooh. That hurts. I'm going to allow that to resolve. So we're going to lose our copy of Songs of the Damned here. And they do take the songs. No copy of Bog. I do love that. Relic! No! Yeah, that's really good. Hmm. That is not good. Okay. So, if we lose this game, we will be on the play for the third game. And I think I would board in Duress. Cycle. Another copy of Wraith. Ooh, we hit the Repeal. So, if we can find... Songs plus whatever. Or I could try to trigger the Relic here. See if they bite. Trigger. Okay. And they did not bite. So I might be able to set it up next turn where I try to repeal the relic into responding to them. I mean, it's going to be tough, but I think that's the line. They use the blood token. We'll remove a lotus petal. And this line only works if I find um, Reaping the Graves. That's an Angler. They play a Swamp, four cards. Can we find it? Draw. <sighs> Start off on the Lotus Petal. This line's pretty dangerous. I think we start off by just attempting to bounce the relic. Oh no, I should have. Okay, I, I messed up here. I should have started by cycling the street rates because now I don't. I if I draw a land off these, I can't play the land, which would theoretically help me. And it ended up not mattering there. Okay, so now we'll cast songs in response. Cycle. We hit it. Wow, we hit it. So the one of repeal ended up looking pretty good after I trashed it in the deck deck. Uh, and now we'll cast Reaping the Graves. It's only returned six. Yeah, I think that's fine. I could try to uh, ploy here in response. But I think I'm fine with it only returning six. Wraith, Wraith, Stinger, or Vantasaur. Okay, so they will get a couple creatures from us. I, I just can't do it, anything about that. Three creatures. So now this resolves. My repeal will fizzle. Cycle three Wraith. Cabal Ritual. Cycle. Man, I, I trash-talked it in the deck tech, and then it ended up being very good. Feels bad. Feels bad. Cycle. Cycle again. 
Celebrant, what's up? Don't have Threshold quite yet. Let's cycle the Stinger. Teachings. That's a good one because it allows us to go get a Songs. Cast the Cabal Rit. Play the Celebrant. Make a blue. Go get Songs. We're going to cycle this because it will just make a mana and I have Lotus Petal to start off with the songs here. Whoops. Um, that's fine. Songs. We'll play the Scob. Exploit. Pick up songs. Let's cast the ploy, I think. Discard Swamp. Cycle. Alright, we have 10 mana. So, 10 mana means that I can teachings for reaping the graves, but I'd have no mana floating. So, I think I'm going to cycle the stinger and hope to get lucky. Wow. That was insanely lucky. Let's go get another copy of Songs. Cast it. And now we cast this floating 10 mana. This should be enough to get the job done. Alright, so I've returned all the creatures. I wonder if I'm supposed to play Stingers or not. They're at 20. I think the answer is probably no. Like, I only have 10 mana, so even if I played two Stingers, it brings me down to 6 mana. And I need to cycle a whole lot. It seems like a big mistake. So we'll come back to that plan later. We just want to make sure we don't fizzle for now. All right, 23 cards left in deck. Keep cycling. Okay, keep cycling. Keep cycling. All right, so now I need to cast the songs. How much mana does it make? Nine mana? That's not even that much. Um, definitely feel like I'm running on fumes here. Play Scob. Trigger. Get back songs. Cast songs for nine or for ten because the scob goes to the graveyard. We still have one scob left in deck. There's another reapings. Cycle. Okay. Another copy of Reaping the Graves. Let's cycle the architects. And we hit the last song, so we should have it from here. I've said that like three times this game, but I was wrong those first few times. All right. Nine cards left. Ball Ritual. Songs of the Damned. And we will cast Reaping the Graves. Return everything. All right, we got the match. Uh, yeah, that was a pretty sweet one. We ended up beating Relic. Love to see that. All right, we are 4 0. Let's go get that trophy. Want early access to articles at theepicstorm.com? Become a member of our patron to get articles seven days early on top of other sweet benefits and help us pay our website team. You can sign up at patreon.com slash theepicstorm. For the trophy, we're back for the fifth and final match. We're on the draw. We will keep this. We have access to the island using Ash Barons, which means that we can cast this Mystical Teachings for Reaping the Graves. We have some cycling creatures, a little bit of mana fixing with the Blood Celebrant. I'm in. Opponent with a Mulligan. And they're going to five. To four, wow. I mean, I did win on a mulligan to four today. It is possible. Also, if they're on mono red and they just open up on turn two kiln fiend, anything's possible there. Okay, they've selected their four cards. Let's see it. Mountain. And it is, in fact, red, so they're getting in with a swift spear. Draw. We'll pass the turn. I don't hate the Cabal Ritual draw. It's fine. 
Swiss Spear will get in and we'll go to 18 unless they have an effect. Lava Dart. I think that tells me that they're on the Mono Red Prowess deck and not the not Burn. Let's grab the island. Draw. That was a good one. Let's play Blood Celebrant as a blocker. The Blood Celebrant resolves and we'll pass the turn. Okay, so... They're just going to attack. I think I want to block. So I could try to like squeeze a little bit of extra value out of this. But if they have Searing Blaze in their deck, it gets a creature off the table. And if they decide later to pump up something a bunch, they can always Lava Dart the Blood Celebrant to clear it as a blocker. So I don't love sitting around thinking that I'll be able to block forever. Cycling the Vantasaur, that puts the second creature to the graveyard. Let's cycle the Barons. Grab a Swamp. Draw. Ploy. We can pass the turn. They found their second land. Three cards in hand. Manamorphose. They're going to go to combat and lose that two mana. Wow, you have nothing to do? So we're going to go to 14 here. Immunogenic growth. Okay. That's five. So I think that they probably have a fire blast in hand if I had to guess. Cycle the street wreath. Ooh. We did not have another creature there. That was really bad. Grab the island. Draw. I mean, I could try to go off right now, but we only have four creatures and one of them's a blood celebrant. I think I'd rather just pass. If they want to go all in into a fire blast, I think I can probably beat that. So now they're attacking for one. I would go to eight if they don't have any other effects. Land three. So the most they can do is Lightning Bolt, Fire Blast, Lava Dart. So I guess that is exactly eight. Cyclone Architects. Should I? If I tap out, I die to the those three cards. They have Lava Dart, they have Lightning Bolt, Fire Blast. Let's cast it. If they got it, they got it. I was not punished. Discard a scob, I'm at 10. Alright. I think it's go time. Dark Ritual. Cabal Ritual. Cycle Stinger. Let's cycle the Architect. Cycle Horror. Tap this, Teachings, and we'll go get these Songs of the Damned. I'm really nervous about this. Um, them possibly having Lethal in hand. Like, If I'm trying to just maximize, I think I'm supposed to cycle the Street Wreath first. Cycle the Healer. And I could play the Scob here, but if it, gets, if it gets hit by Lightning Bolt, I just fizzle. So I don't really want to make that play. Hmm. I haven't found a Lotus Petal yet, and we're almost halfway through. So I think I'm going to leave myself the opportunity to draw that. Reaping for 7 with 9 mana floating. Alright, I'm going to return the Blood Celebrant, and I'm going to leave the other Scob in the graveyard because I already have one in hand. And I think I will return a Street Wraith. The thing is, I'm not going to cycle at all here, I'm just going to return everything. Playing a little bit cautiously. Conservatively, maybe. There's another uh, word for this line that I'm taking. 
play the celebrant and let's cycle because at least now with the ploy i can gain a ton of life the ball ritual cycle welcome lotus petal cycle the vantasaur land return cycle the stinger our opponents just killing time i think they might be um double cubing there's a lot of pauses in their play like we're in game one and they're at 15 minutes for example keep cycling all right i am now going to use lotus petal i don't need to pay the life and we'll jump start the ploy discarding the sash barons i should gain plenty of life here the lava dart in response i will add a blue and another ploy hmm i have two cards in hand i'm going to actually discard the scob i think um there's one songs two songs i have two songs in the deck either that or the horror maybe i'll do the horror instead so i just gained a buttload of life and i can even cast another ploy here and i think that's actually the play let's cast another one and we hit these songs so if my opponent doesn't have removal I think we've got it. I guess even if they have removal, I can go get a Reaping the Graves with Mystical Teachings. Songs. Blue. Scob. Exploit. We'll pick up a Reaping the Graves. And this should be able to return everyone. We'll pick up the Blood Celebrant again. We have eight mana floating. Let's teachings. Go get that last songs. Cast it. All right, we have no more songs of the damned left. Reaping or er, uh, repository scob scob. And now we're just returning everyone. Okay. Seventeen minutes on clock. Play the Celebrant. Let's head a red. Let's start trying to close this out. Cycle. Okay. At this point, we just need to keep cycling. Make a red. Cast another copy of Stinger. Okay. So, time is the biggest factor, I think, in the game right now. I just need to not time out the rest of this match. I mean, I still have to win one of the next two games. Don't get me wrong. Cycle. And again, cycle. And cycle. That's game number one. Now we get to board in our snuff outs. And I actually like boarding out the Architects here. You might think that you want to board out Street Wraith. I, I'm not convinced that's actually the right move. So I think that speed is the biggest thing in this matchup. And Street Wraith digs for Snuff Out. Yes, it, you, you use life as a resource. I, I'm, I'm aware of that. But I still think this is the configuration you want. You want to optimize for speed. Game 2, we're on the draw. I am going to keep this. Our opponent is taking a mulligan. And now they're down to five. So one of the big things with our hand is that we have a basic swamp, which means we will be able to cast snuff out once we find it. And the opponent has gone to four again. I've never seen anyone mulligan quite like this opponent as aggressively. I don't know what their hands were, so it's tough to say. They could have just had no creatures, and you can't keep no creature hands with this deck. But wow, back-to-back -back mulligan to four. That's rough. Turn one mountain into swift spear. You've got it. Ouch, 19. 
Celebrant's not really what we want here. You could play it as a blocker to like stop like a bunch of mutagenic growth stuff. I don't think that's what I want here. I think I just want to uh, cycle looking for snuff out. Crash through, yeah. I guess it would have been a very bad blocker this turn anyway. They have two cards in hand. So they're attacking for four. No blocks. I'm going to cycle here just in case I hit the snuff out. I did not. Part of me thinks I also am not supposed to cycle this Ash Barons. So we'll just play it as a land. And now that they've played two effects that give their creature trample, I will play out the Blood Celebrant. Holy moly, our spell is resolved. Uh, our opponent's been gone for five minutes. Uh, they just came back, hopefully. They have nine minutes left on their clock. Three cards in hand. All right, and they decide to cast a Lava Dart on our Blood Celebrant. I'm fine with that. They have two cards in hand. Now they're going to combat. I will take two down to 13. And they're passing the turn with two cards. Cycle the Dranith Healer into another healer. Untap, draw, teachings. Let's cycle a Stinger. So I'm going to play out Lotus Petal here. I guess this is something I could have thought of last turn as well. But by playing out the Petal, I'm able to go Dark Ritual Teachings for a Snuff Out if need be. In case our opponent goes all in. It's not really a play I want to make, but it could buy us a lot of time. They cast a Manamorphose. Two red and pool. Three cards in hand. Land for turn. Okay, they empty their mana pool. Going to combat, I will go to 11 life. Cycle the Dranith Healer. Imposing Vantasaur, untap draw, stinger. Cycle Vantasaur. Dark Ritual. I have a feeling that they have Pyroblast, and our hand currently loses to that. Cycle Stinger. We hit the snuff out, that's good. Cask of All Ritual. Cast Teachings. See if this resolves. And it does, okay. Grab Reaping the Graves. Cycle. Let's kill these. Mm. I don't know if I need to take that line. Let's cast songs. Cycle Ash Barons for an island. Play the island. Cast teachings. Grab songs. So this will leave two songs in the deck. Cast songs. Yeah, I'm supposed to snuff out here. Because it will return all of my creatures if I cast it. So we go to 7. I could be dead to Bolt Fire Blast, but... I don't know. I feel like I'm supposed to just take this line. Okay, they have two cards. Play the Celebrant. Make a white. Let's play a healer. Cycle. Okay, gain some life. I don't I'm not expecting to win this turn. This was sort of a value turn. Uh should I play another healer? I think I'm going to. Sure, that's fine. Cycle. Pass the turn. Six minutes on our opponent's clock, three cards in hand, and no creature in play. Draw. Cycle. So now we're at 11. Draw. Cycle the Vantasaur. Cycle Stinger. 
Getting our life total back up. Cycle the healer. Haven't done this in a while. Let's get in there. Four damage. We're the beatdown deck. Don't you forget it. Some might say that we're just a really a human stack between Blood Celebrant. Like, we're a human cleric deck, right? Uh, we have Blood Celebrant. We have Dranith Healer. I mean, Stinger's a human. It's it's not a, not a cleric, but still fairly good. Cycle. Okay, cycle the Stinger. We could probably try to win this turn. Cycle the Street Wraith. 21 life. Cycle the Horror of the Broken Lands. Dark Ritual. Dark Ritual. Cabal Ritual. The Lotus Petal. Songs of the Dam for 12 mana. Cast Teachings. Even if they have a Pyroblast here, I can flash back the other. If they don't, we'll grab Reaping the Graves. We can just return everyone. We're going to return three Stingers, though. That's for sure. And then we, we can return Street Wraith and two other creatures. Opponent not F6-ing. Play Blood Celebrant. Make a red, red, and red. Cast a Stinger. Cast a Stinger. They're going to bolt that one. That's fine. And another Stinger. Cycle Horror. So the one downside about this is that when you have both Stinger and Healer in play, you have to click on each trigger. You can't auto-yield and just have it select. You have to pick which one goes first. And when you have multiples like this, you actually have to do it twice. Cycle Street Wraith. The opponent has two cards in hand. And now I will cast the Hottest Ploy. Okay, we're at a very high life total. Attack for four. Look at us. Just human beatdown. Mardu beatdown. I hope they revisit Ikoria and do another cycling sub theme, but instead we get blue and black. So that way we get like Dranith, uh, I don't know, Dranith Looter and Dranith Necromancer. Like those would be cool. I imagine the blue one would be like whenever you cycle a card, uh, each opponent mills the top card of their library. That would be a cool one. I don't know what the black one would be, though. I also don't know what's more likely here. Our opponent tapped or times out from just like being inactive the entire match, uh, playing a grand total of like seven turns of magic, or me winning this game in time. The world may never know. Thinking about my play this match, I, I feel like I probably misplayed the turn that I cast the snuff out. There's no reason to put myself to 7 life. That was probably a pretty big misplay. Just giving my opponent the opportunity to have Bolt Fire Blast is bad. When we look at these lists, there's usually no Fire Blast in here. And I say usually because that's not always the case. So this is the uh, like pure Is It Blitz version. Like It's very, very good. That said, I've seen lists that are like somewhat combined with actual burn and not just mono red blitz. So click on Popper. It's weird how like they don't have burn separated anymore. Um, but I've seen lists that have like Swiss Spear, Fire Blast. Like I, I understand that this is actual burn, but I've seen like hybrids of them, and I don't know what my opponent's actually playing. So why put myself in an opportunity or give them the opportunity to kill me, right? So that's sort of my thought process. We'll cycle the horror. Okay. Um, I can actually just go to combat. Should have done that first. Less clicks. Get in. That's the match, and that is a 5-0 oh trophy. How about that? Boom! Love to see it. 
Uh, the Nod to the Bones never came up. The one of Repeal ended up being terrific. I love that. So we could have played the Demir list today, and I don't know if we would have seen much of a difference. Uh, but it was pretty cool that we got to win on a mulligan to four. I talked a little bit about the future of Cycle Storm and what I think of Withering Necromass. I hope you enjoyed that. That's all I've got for today. Thank you for watching. I truly appreciate it. And as always, keep storming. Hey. Brand Cook here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe, but also follow the social media channels down below. If you want to support this content directly, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com shop. And if you need a little bit of assistance with the Epic Storm to get to that next level, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com tutoring. Don't worry, there's more great content coming right up.